Yeah, there, YouTube. Uh, another review from uh, Rad Tyan. This is uh, Alex and uh, George. So uh, we're at George's cave. This is another redo. We uh, reviewed some of our videos, and um, some of them uh, looked a bit crap. And, uh, well, this one was the last one we did it yeah. of about eight in a row, and it was about two two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, because we don't really see each other that often. We see each other once every three months, so we kind of do our reviews in batches. And uh, the apocalypse one was the last one we done. Um, mm. So we we're knackered basically. So we're just going to go straight on, just to redo. Hopefully, we won't uh, yeah, drag. We won't drag it on. Just we'll just cover it quite quickly. So um, what is and it? Also, we've got a better quality uh, video. Yeah. Uh, camera. So uh, this is the Apocalypse Bowen statue. Painted, yeah. Uh, painted edition. Is, is there there a isn't a there isn't a full bronze now. Right, the painted oh, yeah. edition. Um, so we'll go straight on, straight onto the base. Um, this came out in around two thousand and seven, and it's um, sculpted by the uh, Kucherek Kucherek brothers. Yeah. And uh, basically, here's the base here. So you've got the Apocalypse. This is number zero nine two six of two thousand. Oh. And this is a very sought after statue as well, it's uh, very popular actually. Uh, George got a really good deal with this. Um, Hence why we don't have a box, there was yeah. no box with this. No box and then um, damage to shipping. Uh, so advice is as well, I've noticed this lately, if you're going to get something without a box, try and pick it up. Definitely. Um, do not curate it at all if it doesn't have a box, unless the person's going to wrap up a whole line, roll of bubble wrap. Basically, I've had so many things that um, got a good deal. Damaged. Well, mate, you, you know with it, you know as well as I do, you've had like six things delivered to you, like sideshow stuff, all sorts of bits, and there's damages. The, yeah. Bowens are solid. Bowens, Bowens, Bowens are, yeah, Bowens boxes, um, I've had delivered from America, turned up perfectly. Sideshow stuff I've had delivered from, you know, Sheffield or something. <laughs> it wasn't too far from London, and it's smashed to pieces. So, yeah. So it takes is, a bit of a so, kick in. We're deviating here. Uh, this is the base here, so it's like a nice sort of... Well, he's from ancient... Aztec or Egyptian. No, it's Egyptian, uh, isn't yeah. it? He originates base. from Egypt. Yeah. Anybody can get bonus points for saying what his real name is. We were just talking about what it is. I don't remember what it is. Yeah. No. Sabu, uh, Nabu, Rabu. Uh, Noob Sabat is from... Yeah, Noob, Combat, Noob Sabat that's more... Yeah, yeah, that's what you came up with, yeah. But this is like uh, it's an Egyptian base. Nice pyramid-style base, yeah. Yeah, like a temple-type thing. So this is, this is really nice. Uh, takes him up quite high as well. Uh, this has got to be about three inches or maybe more, isn't it? Let's have a look. Ground level it is pretty, pretty, pretty high, bro. What you do is, while you're just looking at that, I'll pull him over. And no, I don't feel very comfortable. I just want to point out quickly the size of his spike. If you've seen, <laughs> if you've seen on our Thanos video, the Thanos video is literally one sixth the size of that spike. With that Thanos statue, you you really need to be careful. So, and also George is probably tensing his uh, clenching himself there. Worried about me doing this. No, I did a great job, mate. Really nice. Okay. So, here we go. We've got him here. So, this uh, is how he, he comes. Obviously, <coughs> as you can see, he's missing an arm there. You have lots yeah. of different displayment options with him. So, let's um, get this on. Spike, not magnet. So it is like, actually magnetized too. Oh, as cool. well as the spike. Oh, if you look, when you put it on, it will just flip. Can you feel that? It just, right, it's just got a little bit of a kick a in it. Scuff there, dude. Yeah, there's... Um, there's always a little, yeah, there's so always little tiny things that you I get on all these things. This is how it is, you know. Nothing's ever, you know. But that, wow, Jesus! It's one of my babies. This one. Um, the only thing I just sort of quickly can complain about is that bicep looks a bit shit. There, I think that's more to do with the fact the that the gun, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's First. the gun. The gun angles out slightly compared to the arm, but he does have another displacement hand yeah. that you can put him put him on. So, so I'm going to pass you, I'm going to give the camera away to Alex because he's much more skilled than me. But he's got, we still run through this together. That far, but actually you have more skilled than you, but not that skilled. So let me take this round. So just take over there and uh, try and do a little bit of filming. But just got... Let me try and focus it. Okay, so... I'll stop then. We were talking about this last time about how well this is sculpted. And to be honest, it is a beautiful sculpted piece. Mm. One of the best painted bones I think that's out there. His face um, is really good as well. It's, well, it's very... It's a typical uh, apocalypse, isn't it? Yeah, There's no yeah. emotion there at all, is it? It's completely just like a machine, which is what he is. Well, this is very... I, I think this is a lot more comic accurate than the uh, the big um, sideshow yeah. version. Yeah. yeah. Plus, it's easier to store. Wow, that sure. looks really good on camera, actually. It's got the, muscle def the muscle definition on the chest. 
Uh, it's got like those sort of uh, ripples. Yeah, ripples going across. We we'll just go around here to try and get some uh, some of this gun on here. Uh, I prefer the gun, uh, even though I just bitched about the uh, the bicep part. Uh, it looks. I think the gun looks better. George prefers the hand. I do. Uh, so that's where the bicep kind of joins. But you can't see that when you, when you're doing that. Um, Got to be quite careful with these uh, sort of pipe bits coming out the back. Sort of quite fragile bits. Uh, but again, they look really good. Um, so quite similar to the Amiga Red ones. Nice, right, nice is, uh, muscle definition there on his back. Very good, actually. Yeah. Great traps, isn't it? He's got a great. They've done a great job yeah, sculpting yeah. this. Really good job. All right. So you want to, uh, while I'm coming around, if you can switch that hand over there, Georgie. Well, what you get is the, the, the unique thing about this. I don't, there's not. I don't know if there's many bones that are like this, but you have the choice of taking the gun away and placing his other hand on. So. And again, you can see this when it slightly comes in. Look, there's the magnet there. See that? I think that's really good. There's got a peg and a magnet. I mean, yeah, but I, this... I really like this. This is like I, I kind of like this. Can you get another close up of his face? I really like that face. Sort awesome. of motionless and just like you know, so cold. It's great. I like. That. I really like that face. Yeah, done um, a cracking job with it. And then I use. Just around. So I'm just going to go around to his hand. Just do some of that on there. Yeah, that's the obviously the alternate hand. Uh, I think the hand uh, covers the bicep a bit better. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. The gun's um, definitely got, got the same But I, I don't know. It's still I, slightly turned, isn't it? Yeah. They have a problem uh, bowing with biceps. They do on the they do uh, some issues Colossus. With, and yeah, there's a couple. Wolverine. Even the, LF, mm. the LSF is, is a little bit. They 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 big complaints. Also, um, I don't know if you can see this, Alex, but over... I have the um, Fine Art Doctor Doom, and with oh, yes, the yeah. Fine Art Doctor Doom, you get this alternative head here that you may be able to see, this alternative face. Now, what I like also, to do... you may have seen our uh, debates about the Doctor Doom in previous videos, if you have. What I like to do with this face is just literally slip it in his hand. You can just put it in his hand like so, yeah. like there, and then just leave it, and it looks absolutely awesome. And also, as well, this goes really well with your display because you've got Thanos with uh, the skull. Yeah. And he's like looking down at the skull and then this has got that. So it kind of pairs them off really so how, nicely. This is how I'm displaying him at the moment. Oh, yes, you've got the gun on? Yeah. So oh, I've got the gun on at the moment because you said to me you preferred it. So for oh, you, well, it's on, it's there. <laughs> and then I've got, so from the front, you can I see that's how he's displayed. Yeah, I thought you were a bit anti gun. I know, I, I like them both. I, really, I like <laughs> this. Listen, the gun's not a bad thing. It's a great, I mean, my wife prefers the gun. I like prefer the gun. I prefer the gun. Great minds think alike. Well, yeah. well, it just looks fantastic though. From uh, I do really do think this, just this little tiny touch, just looks fantastic. Mm. It sits perfectly in his hand. I've got to you... say, um, I'm really glad we've reshot it. From uh, looking at it through this camera, he looks really good. It's yeah, kind of detailing it's and uh, face, isn't it? I'm glad. I'm glad we decided to refilm it. And this, um, unfortunately, or, or good, depending on what you think of our videos, this may spark off us doing re redoing a few more. So. Uh, yeah, let us know what you think, guys. Uh, let us know whether there's anything else you want to add to our videos. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. If you've got channels yourself, let us know in the comments. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for your stuff too. Thanks, guys. Thanks, boys. Cheers. Peace, boys. Bye-bye.